Hello. I wanted to share some anxiety moments with you guys. Because I know I haven't, I've been kind of quiet <laughs> for days. And um, it's because I just don't find, like, I don't find time to make these videos. I guess I could. But anyway, um, I wanted to share something with you guys. Anxiety or ADHD, you know. Um, I do believe this is ADHD. But, but it's a, I think maybe it's a combination for me. <laughs> but, like, I tend to freak out with the simplest things. Like, I was explaining to my sister how, or my friend, actually, Krista, how I tend to get, even with like drinking water or drinking soda, drinking anything, right? I don't drink sodas, so that is that is what it is. If I crave a soda, I'll buy one and take literally a couple of swallows, sw I, I call it a swallow, but swallows, and that's it. And then um, I'll be done, I have to, I give it away, you know, because I got the craving out of my system. But anyway, so let me explain to you how my brain works when it comes to this stuff so I'll be sitting there I'll be thirsty and I'll think well I'm gonna finish this real quick whatever I'm doing right or I'll be like I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll end up not drinking or if I decide I'm going to drink I'm like okay well I need to drink water and then I'm like well I can't drink a lot of water because when I drink a lot of water it makes me upset to my stomach like I get nauseated when I drink too much water and then like I'm like well should I sip it and then when I'm sipping it I'm thinking oh my god I'm gonna get sick and then I'm thinking wait but I can't have I can't have um I can't have um what do you call it water uh I can't have faucet water and hold sorry okay and then we'll and then all of a sudden I'm like well I can't because I can't have faucet water I'll freak out with faucet water um, I can't have um, I'll be thinking of all the chemicals that are in it I'll think of fluoride I'll think yes I do fluoride free everything so I don't even I haven't done fluoride toothpaste in oh my god it's been so many years um, but anyway um, I don't even allow them to use fluoride on my children at the dentist I don't do it I don't allow it so anyway um, yes I'm a little crazy but when it comes to water so this is what happens like um, and then or I'll start thinking well if I have soda then it's gonna I, I can't have soda because of blah 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 I can't have tea because of blah 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 I have reasons in my head and they're it's like within milliseconds all these thoughts <laughs> are going and so I end up usually just not drinking anything at all and then I start feeling sick and then my throat is dry and my mouth is dry and I'm like oh you're dehydrated. Every time I've ever gone to the ER for any reason, when it comes to my anxiety, like if I, like when I, even when I passed out, and all those things that happened to me, um, or I've gone to the ER because I'm freaking out over the years. Um, I haven't gone to the ER in a long time. It's been a minute, um, other than for like regular, like whenever the gasoline was spilled on me, or whatever, um, uh, recently. But like even every time I've gone, I'm always dehydrated, always. Um, they always tell me that I don't have enough, uh, I'm just not hydrated. And I think it's because of that, because I've had this issue for a while. Um, years ago when I was eating healthy, I think the only thing that saved me was that I was eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and fruits and vegetables give you hydration. Uh, it's actually, um, better for your body. It's bioavailable to your cells a lot faster when you do fruits and things like that but um basically I think that's the only thing that helped me back in the day so but I just wanted to share this with you because I don't know if any of you have this where I mean that I just I was just an example but I do think this way all the time it's a problem all right I better go inside my room all right love you guys remember you're not alone